Okay, so hey guys, we are here with a grocery outlet haul. Trust me, it took everything in my power to do this video. I was debating, I was wanting to do it in the car, but I just wanted to get home. Traffic is really bad around here. It's Sunday afternoon for Christ's sake at 1.30 and the traffic is not to my liking. So I didn't find a lot of stuff on my list. It's a hit and miss, so if you see something you're interested in, usually just get it run and go and hope to god it wasn't just a waste of a purchase so that's what a lot of stuff of this this stuff is i need a sip i wish i had some vodka well i do actually but if you've never tasted this flavor it's a little hard to find pomegranate blueberry it is the bomb diggity it kind of reminds me a tad of a cola and if you ever find the LaCroix La Cola in this, I've mentioned it before, stock up. I want to find them again so bad. I know where they're at, not for a dollar a can. So is everybody okay? Everybody rest. So we're going to get to the somewhat perishables first. I actually brought um, a little cooler with me just on the remote chance I was going to find some dessert, which I did, and I hope it's not melted. So this stuff looks really good, don't know what it tastes like, and won't know what it tastes like until tomorrow, tonight, whenever I decide to eat it. So this is the Chili Cow Ultra Filtered Non-Fat Milk Cookies and Cream, 180 calories. What I like is portion control, because if you get like the pint, and it's like, okay, it's 300 for the pint, but half of those times they suck. They're just like the halo I don't like them they're disgusting so and they were two for three dollars which is quite the steal so two cookies and cream and then one vanilla gram swirl so again I'm gonna get these in the freezer really fast can you move mama? Move mama. I have to be a little bit uh, creative here oh when it comes to this freezer man I seriously need to clean it out. So forgive me, I have to do this. They've been in the shopping cart, in the car, and sitting here for like five minutes while I give the girls their bones. Charlie, get out of my way. I'm just gonna leave it open for a second. There's a couple other um, perishable things. This is a repurchase. I guess I got it there originally. I'm surprised they still have it because it's like really good. So. This is the um, California style salmon. Um, it generally feeds two people. I know I have another one in here. Okay, Christ, it's on top. And this is the Baja style cod. I haven't tried this one before. Um, I think this is the first time in a long, long time I went after lunch. So all the things that would normally scream to me in the morning because you're hungry or you're jonesing or it's, you know, you just didn't eat, I don't even want to look. Like, I didn't even buy anything on the way home to eat. I was very careful as to do I really want this. Um, so that's pretty good in my book. Like, go when you have a full stomach and you all you smell is lunch. And it's like, I don't even want anything else. Anyway, these I've been searching for forever to replace the ones I got at Dollar Tree, oh, probably four years ago. Um, so these were $3.99. I hope to God they work. I mean, how couldn't they not work? But anyways, um, they're brand new. I can finally toss the other one, the one and only one I have, out. And I have botched the other ones up so badly by knocking them around to get all the grinds out. So happy 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 in the morning I will be um, I don't even know where to start well this is my lunch for tomorrow if I choose to eat it that is I don't know um, it's a repurchase I'm back on the pickle train so these are the sweet um, bread and butter pickles because I've almost polished off the one jar that I got from Lucky's last week and I am going to close this Okay, this, I'm gonna open it up here for now. Okay, what do you want bunnies? I'll give you some more in a minute, okay? Okay, um, 
I bought these. This was kind of an impulse purchase. You see the word skinny pop and you're like, oh, it's got to be good. So cinnamon sugar, I was thinking kind of like a healthier version of a churro. We'll see how that goes. Um, these are also, I bought one for my neighbor, so I'm not eating all these, but they were a dollar fifty. Perfect size for one, um, decadent chocolate brownie. And there are 10 of them in here, 10. So like I said, they were two for, I think two for three dollars. I don't need 75,000 of these, so I'm going to give one to her. She'll love me. Um, I'm not going to show all this stuff. So finally, thank God, tuna, 59 cents a can. The kids will be happy, happy, happy for dinner. Um, I think I got like eight or nine cans. I just kind of grabbed and went, whatever. Um, Charlie loves him some expensive-ish food. This was $1.25, not the most economical, but I'm going to treat him, treat all of them to a little something other than kit and caboodle, you know, the Purina. So they, they have an expensive little, little, little mouth going on there. Um, oh, here's this. Oh, I bought some cheese. Oops, shouldn't have said the word. Um, some shredded queso and some little amount of turkey breast and some more queso to go with the turkey breast. I mean, wanting to have some sandwiches. Oh, I didn't buy lettuce. There's always that one thing you forgot. But anyway, uh, more cat stuff. These I've never ever seen before. Chicken and waffle flavor. I mean, it's kind of weird, but they were super cheap, like something like 49 cents. So for 49 cents, you're gonna damn well try these, or at least, you know, hopefully like them. These I know they're gonna love anyway. These were super cheap too. Hey, Lexi, you don't eat peanuts. And then I got one for Mika and one for Charlie. Um, or I could split them up and give half to, you know, each of them. I haven't decided what I'm gonna do, but Charlie has been a little brother. Where's your brother? Where's brother? Where's Charlie? He's been such a little love nugget. Nugget. He's just following me around. He's getting all my black clothes full of white hair. It's kind of cute. Um, so I just want to show him a little extra love. Maybe he, you know, senses I'm sad about Cody. Anyway, another thing is the lobster and cheese, lobster mac and cheese cat treat. I don't know. This just kind of grosses me out, kind of makes me weirded out. Um, I don't need any right now, but I'm sure I'm going to be happy that I have it in the bathroom versus, oh my God, I'm starting to get roots. Where am I going to go get some cheap hair color that lasts? Um, this is a Schwartz cuff, or however you pronounce it. Um, it's really good. It's a repurchase. I don't really care when it comes to, if it's brown, fine. Like, I'm not going to get black. I'm not going to get red again. I'm not going to get blonde. I'm not going to get something weird. If it says brown, it's going to be brown. I'll be fine. So, um, I'm going to happy, happy I have this. It was $3.99. Ugh. Another thing I'm going to show you guys if I don't forget. It has nothing to do with grocery outlet. Um, one avocado. Ask me why I bought that. Don't know. Don't know why I bought these. 49 cents, I just couldn't pass up, so I got two of these. Um, maybe I'll make a recipe. Maybe, I I don't know. I don't know what I'm gonna do with them. Then again, maybe I should just give one to my, um, my neighbor. I think I'll probably just give one to my neighbor. She cooks a lot. And then um, two of these because they were super cheap, 69 cents. They didn't have sponges. Who doesn't have sponges? I don't know. I was saying my teeth. Oh, sweet Jesus. Sorry. That's a little embarrassing. That is mucho, mucho embarrassing considering I left the house looking like that. And I talked to people. And I went in store. Sorry. That's just horrific. Anyway. Real life, people. Um, no sponges. No... Something else I was looking for, and I'm like, who doesn't have sponges? 
but I can't remember. There was one other thing on my list, um, so I couldn't buy it. Um, this was just an impulse purchase as well, but I like to have these on hand for dinner or, you know, put in a salad. Come on, Lee. Just a minute. Okay, we're almost done. Mommy's almost done. More exciting stuff to come. At least I'm excited about it. I'm excited when they do like two for three or buy one, get one free, something like that. I have no idea what this is gonna taste like. I may try it tomorrow morning. It's the Mrs. Butterworth's Breakfast for One. And there's four in here, so got two of them. And this is what they look like. So essentially, I guess it's the whole, you know, put it in a mug thing and add syrup, I'm assuming. I'm just, and I've said this before, I'm tired of breakfast. I'm tired of what am I going to do? What am I going to eat? How long is it going to take me to fix it? Am I really going to want it? It's just this repetitive hamster on a wheel thing. I'm trying to break it up, but I don't know. And then I got, I've never tried these before, but you know me in Hawaii. If there's, you know, a Hawaii or Hawaiian in the name, I'm going to buy it. Um, so flame seared tilapia, which I'm not wild about tilapia at all. Um, you boil it in the bag, which I didn't see that. Do you need to boil it? Oh, you can bake it. Yeah, I'd bake it. I wouldn't boil it. Um, so this is the Hawaiian style. So I did end up getting two. They were super cheap. I think they were $2.49. And this is like a crap load. There's two fillets in here, but they're big fillets. So unfortunately, my friend who was supposed to come next week is not coming anymore. Um, but because she is vegetarian, I'm going to put this away in the freezer. And so when she does end up coming, God willing, in the next month, um, we could probably have this for dinner. So that's going to go in a freezer. And then, um, again, the whole breakfast debacle, like, what am I going to eat? It's kind of, you know, the same as the mug, the, you know, pancakes, waffles, syrup thing, but... I've been wanting waffles for a long time and I just wanted to get them. So I got them. And the last couple of things is I'm debating on if I should have this for dinner. I really don't feel like it. So maybe tomorrow. Super cheap, in my opinion. Um, $1.55 um, a pound. So these are just um, chicken wings. And there's enough for two meals, so I'll cook the whole thing, and then maybe I'll have one one night, and then one the next night. Um, I don't know. I just, I also have this um, curry sauce. It's a simmer sauce. So I've been wanting to use it for the longest time. I may do half of them in curry, and then like the other half in um, a teriyaki. Or something I don't know but I've had this and it's just been sitting on my counter I've been wanting to make some chicken like you know chicken breast or something like slow cooked we see how well that works out I don't even know where I got it um, I think at Target I think probably over a month ago here it goes back on the counter and then the last thing shouldn't have but did but here it is so this is the 25% less sugar um, and I'm very surprised I didn't just knock one back in the car but like I said I am not hungry I had the most disgusting lunch just like dinner it was just a complete and utter mess um, I got some pupusas like frozen pupusas if you don't know what they are you can google them um, disgusting I burned one threw it out I cooked two more and went, so now all I'm smelling and tasting and can't get the smell, like the, the burnt smell out of my nose are the pupusas. So anyways, that is grocery outlet. Let me show you one other thing. Where's everybody? Mama? Oh, there you are. Everybody's got to be around mommy. So... I'm still here. I'm coming. I'm just going to show you guys this really fast. So, I got this yesterday. This is a TENS unit. So essentially, you hook up all this crap. 
into your little machine and then you stick the little pads here on your back or wherever you need to stick them and I hated it at first it's sort of it's not that easy to understand or to use and it's going to be trial and error I'm going to give it a few days if I don't like it it goes back to Amazon realistically I'd love to stick them right here but you really shouldn't and can't um, you can't stay it like near your heart or near your head or near your spine Ooh, that's where my shot went um, so I'm just sticking them like right in here where all my tension is and cranking me shit up and it actually made me feel a little bit better today so I'm gonna do another treatment after I get off here um, it's just I don't think you guys could see it maybe you can because oh, you can see a little bit it's it looks super simple and like not rocket science but it's a little it's a little challenging to only have these little controls down here and you know M T and then minus and plus and you're constantly trying to figure out what program you want and within that program there's four different programs and there's like all these other options that are in the instructions some of them being cupping um, acupressure um, like kneading like all these different options and I'm like where the hell are they in this so I have to figure it out but I'm gonna do it again this afternoon I'm gonna actually use bigger pads they come two back pads two or four of these mid-sized ones and then two small ones but I haven't figured out what the small ones are for like if they're so small couldn't you just like stick it up here for a headache I'm gonna do a little bit more research but I think I can't so I'll be doing a review on this um, that I kept it that I liked it or that it went right back to Amazon and why I sent it back so look for that video and one last thing my deepest deepest apologies um, I did not realize until probably two days ago that the last um, video I put up I think it was a lucky haul I think not sure yeah um, the comments were disabled I didn't do that it was maybe from a setting I had prior to my leave if you will um, so I have straightened it out, but I'm not exactly sure what it's going to be once I upload and I'll check it later on. But if you guys see this new video and you can't comment on it, just give it a few hours and then I'll get to it to turn that option off. I don't know why, like I said, um, I thought I had got rid of that. Like everybody can comment if they want. I appreciate your comments. I want to hear your comments. Um, please though, do keep in mind, you know, the golden rule you know treat others as you want to be treated so saying something nasty really doesn't you know why say it if you don't have anything nice to say please don't say it I just mentally I can't handle that so I mean you know it's just it's you know it's just a super hard tight rope tight rope we all walk like how much to say how much not to say what do you want to hear back and you know you want to be liked and you want to be you know I don't want to say appreciated but you know it took believe you me I could have easily put all this shit away popped open a soda put on my machine and just sat on the couch but I'm trying to fight through this as best I can I'm just in such a different place uh, mentally and especially especially physically you just you don't understand um, so if you want to Google occipital neuralgia, trust me, something will come up. Or you can even do a video, like on YouTube, a lot of things will come up and you'll hear these people say exactly what I'm going through. It's the craziest shit ever. I've, I've you know, searched probably like two or three times or it just manually just comes up because of your previous searches. And what these people are saying, the suffering and the pain and the doctor visits and nobody understands what, you know, doctors can't figure this stuff out. That is exactly what I'm dealing with. I mean, at least it's sort of a diagnosis, but there's no known cure for it. There's no pill. There's no procedure. Trust me. I've already got the procedure done. 
and it's done nothing in a week. Um, I'm hoping, I'm hoping by some, Kamiley, by some reason, you know, maybe it'll just be better this coming week, but I am trying. I want you to know I am trying my hardest to try to get back to a certain, you know, person I believed I was. So I hope everybody takes care. I'm sorry I rambled. Gotta take care of the white wonder. She's screaming bloody murder. So take care, everybody. Bye.